Now for point number four. Simple one, easy one. With everything we've talked about today, everything about changes, everything about things going new, everything about is enlightenment something you choose or something you accept with all of this? Point number four, don't hurry. Don't be in such a hurry. A lot of you are trying to hurry your way into enlightenment, thinking a lot, pushing a lot. Why? Why? It's, it's happening anyway. As we sit here right now, as I've been distracting you, it's happening. It's not time based. It's not value based. You know, there's, there's no, it's not even a quantity. You know, it's in, immeasurable. And you're not trying to race other people to get there. There, there really is nothing you'll ever be able to do uh, with another human. Am I more enlightened than you? Well, it just, that doesn't matter. It's not even an issue. There's no rush for this. Uh, the, there, there's one factor that plays into it, but I'm a, a, there's one factor. It's between here and death. I say, well, I, I want to have this before I die. But let's go new on that. Let's go totally new. What if this uh, old, old, old cycle of death, the way of death, what if that goes new? What if death isn't what it was in other lifetimes. See, you're you're using an old value, death, to pace your enlightenment. I've got 20, 30, 40 years left, you say. I've got to have it before then, and I've got to have at least a few years to enjoy enlightenment. But what if even the value of death goes new? I say, well, what, what does that mean? I just keep a living? I mean, what if it's so out of the box, so different than the old cycle of life and death that it absolutely doesn't matter anymore? What if death isn't what you remember it to be? If it's not that final moment in the human body and suddenly uh, you keel over. What if that goes new as well? Then there's really no hurry for enlightenment because death was the only real measurement, barometer, reason for hurrying into enlightenment. Well, that and getting out of the current condition of, of life. But the death was a bigger factor, bigger issue. Wow. And, and then you you put your own stuff on yourself. You said, geez, if I don't get it in this lifetime, if I don't have enlightenment before I die, then I'm going to have to come back and start all over. Hopefully remembering some of this, hopefully I won't be, it won't be so difficult in the next lifetime. And then you're like, ah, oh, another lifetime. See, and then there's this constant pressure. Gotta hurry. Gotta hurry, but why? The hurrying itself is you getting in your own way. The hurrying is getting mental, putting a time frame on it, and then measuring yourself. Are you 60% there? Are you 90% there. And suddenly, you're right back into the cycle of time. Back in the cycle of life, death. Back into trying to figure it out. 
back into thinking you're choosing enlightenment rather than just allowing it. Don't be in such a hurry. Because you, you, the human, is not doing it anyway. It's not your responsibility. It never was. Right now, the I am that you are is asking you to just live, be in passion, enjoy this whole experience of enlightenment, of new. A funny thing happens in this very interesting dynamic. You try to hurry into enlightenment. You try to push it. You try to get out of the old cycles as quickly as possible. But the I am actually isn't going to let you do that. It's not going to let you just race through enlightenment, or the process going into enlightenment. It's not going to let you skip over the most beautiful experience that you've ever had while in human form. The I am I was going to say, slow down. There's no race. Slow down. This is what I want to experience. What we want to experience together. The soul, the I am, is going to say to you, I want to experience through you. I want to experience coming into new, coming into enlightenment and realization. So slow down so we can experience this together. The I am, the soul is going to say, this is what I wanted to feel, what I, what I wanted to sense, what I wanted to be. So human, stop denying both of us of this. Slow down. We're not in time anymore. We're not unlinear anymore. Please, let's experience realization. Let's experience the transition from one energy dynamic into many energy dynamics. The soul is saying, this is why we're here right now. This isn't like going to college, seeing if we can graduate in three years rather than four or five for some of you, seven or eight. We're not just trying to get through an obstacle course here. The I am is saying, let's just experience this. And the human is saying, well, you don't know how hard it is. You don't know. And the soul is saying, let's just experience the beauty of it then. Let's just experience the joy and the passion, the shifting of energies. Let's experience the new creation together then. The I am is saying, I'm not the one who made it hard. You are. You got in the way. You tried to interfere with all this. You tried to mind your way into it, work your way. I never asked you to do that. You tried to be the instigator, the master planner of this. I never asked you to do that. So could you just get out of your way, come together with me, 
and enjoy, feel, sense the experience of enlightenment. The I am is saying, you know, it's kind of like sitting outdoors on a beautiful summer night, away from the city, out, out where it's quiet. And looking up at the sky together, watching the shooting stars, viewing off into the galaxies, feeling the amazing energy of the cosmos, just like sitting down and doing that together, rather than you, dear human, thinking that you're having to make all of it work and it's going to fall apart without you rather than you thinking that your thoughts making those shooting stars go across the sky, rather than then it's you thinking that it would all fall apart if you close your eyes for a moment. So, says the I Am, just let's sit here together, looking up at the stars. Let's enjoy the beauty of the moment rather than trying to keep everything together, trying to fix everything, trying to make it happen. The I am is saying, just let's sit here together. You and I, human, I am, and enjoy the profound beauty of our creation. There's no hurrying. You can't hurry the night sky, trying to make it into morning. You can't hurry the natural movements of consciousness. The I am says, you know, we're experiencing all of this in human form. That's what we agreed. We're here sharing this experience. So now, damn it, could you just let yourself experience it? You know, the you or the human takes a deep breath and kind of has to laugh at yourself, thinking how you've been trying to move mountains. They haven't moved very far. Thinking how you've tried to figure this all out and it's been a lot of effort, a lot of struggling. You, the human, thinking, oh, all the thinking I've done. I'm even thinking about my thinking now. Thinking like it was going to make a difference. thinking that, that it really hasn't gotten me very far. And then in that beautiful moment, you and the I am sitting together on this beautiful summer evening, looking up at all the stars twinkling away. The I am yeah, extends its beautiful hand of light out to you. It says, dear human, that I am, would you just take my hand? Just take my hand for a moment. It's not up to you. I just ask that you enjoy the experience, that you live the experience, that you feel the experience. That's all I'm asking. The rest is taken care of. We're human. Can you live life? Can you be in passion? Can you allow your creations to manifest? 
and you allow your dreams to come true. That's all I ask, dear human. The rest is already taken care of. So, dear human, dear human, don't be in such a hurry. Be in passion and enjoy life. I'll always be here. Even if it doesn't feel like we're sitting here together on this starry night, I'm always here. And remember, dear human, this is all going new. The whole planet is going new. And no matter what happens, just remember that all is well in all of creation.